Hi everybody, this is Urgan Fresh, aka Blue Phoenix. We'll be doing things in a little bit different format tonight. Uh, I will be working with Sinfire, creating a arrangement from scratch. Um, but I'm just normally I make my videos short, to the point, and uh, I edit things down that kind of suck and don't make sense. Um, but what I'm going to do tonight is just kind of record all, record all the raw footage. This is this is Blue Phoenix in the raw. Um, first, I want to point out the really cool backdrop behind me. Um, I got it from a site called globalsect.ru. Um, they had this really, really awesome side trance release. The mystery of the ah, the mystery of the crystal worlds. I'm gonna put that link in the description. But uh, basically, you can download the music for this for free. I went ahead and bought the album. It's got all this cool artwork in it, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, I would highly recommend it if you love side trance. It is the best Psytrance album that I have ever uh, listened to. <laughs> so, uh, really good stuff. So, I'm going to start up Sinfire here. i got my iLock plugged in. And uh, we're just going to get going here and start off with a, a blank, blank plug-in. It does take a little while to load Contact. It's got to load all the libraries. And uh, yada, yada, yada. Yes, load that. Contact. How's everybody doing tonight? Mm. Chocolate. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> um, so in Sinfire, we have this really awesome palette here. This lets us. Uh, really explore different scales and and different keys and stuff. I'm going to make sure I've got my uh, global devices set up correctly. <laughs> there are so many settings on here, I always forget where stuff is. Okay. Um, concert Grin, Caressing Deep. Yeah, these are the three big ones here. Those look pretty good to me. I think I'll, I'll just go with those for my palette browsing. Why are you saving? I didn't change anything. Okay. I was going to pick a, a scale off the top of my head. I, I don't really know um, what. Let's let's just do like D flat. So if I double click on this, it's going to pull that palette out for me. Uh, I'm going to set it to minor. D flat minor or C sharp minor. My bad. So when I click on these, it's gonna it's gonna um, play the chords for me, and we can kind of listen and see what progression might sound pretty good. So this is the this is the root uh, tonal. Uh, this is the subdominant. This I'm sorry, the S is the subdominant. This is the dominant. This is the minor dominant here with the lowercase d. This is the major dominant with the uppercase d. So I'm just gonna play around and try to get something that makes sense. I really don't know what genre to make. I'm I'm probably gonna do just a chill out arrangement here. So, I don't know, let's just play around. And actually, it's a little bit quiet for me. Probably not too quiet for you. I have control of my volume. Okay. Yes, I need to be able to. Oh. Told you this was raw tonight. Okay, so one thing one thing I'm having trouble with here is those pads are a bit they're a bit too quiet. They're they're too dark. Um, they're too low. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm going to pick a different one. Um, I think this soft chill is a it's a little bit more brighter. It should should hopefully. Where's my palette? Still a little bit quiet. Let's see here, volume. All 
All right, I think we're, we're at a good point here where we can actually work with this. That sounded pretty cool, didn't it? Um, let's see here. Notepad. Show me the notepad. Oh, I think I went back to E. So let's see. Let's throw that up there. Alright, so if I hit play, that should... It's really freaking out. What's going on there? I think it's trying to play both of these at the same time. Anyway, we'll fix that in a minute. Let's see. So, uh... We could go back to the root, that's kind of meh. Hold on. I had it down pretty good. That's it. I'm gonna let that go for two bars. Okay. Bigger pallet. Okay. So that D is uh it's off of the um, regular scale, but we'll we'll let's we'll listen to this here. Oh, why is it doing that? Okay. That sounds pretty interesting. So why don't we just start with this? And I should be able to just drag this up here. Noink. And um, aggression. I need to change this silly thing to, I think, two bar or two rows. Okay. And we have nothing in the arrangement yet. So let's pick a. Um, Let's get our sub bass going here. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll start with this, and I'm just gonna hit. Uh, I'm just gonna use auto bass. So you see, that's gonna play just that bass. And uh, let's add the chords. If I double click, it gives me a chord thing. Covered instrument. I'm gonna pick. Uh, Zebra, zebra. Let's do uh, let's do pads for this one. So let's see here. Um, I think it's under synth pads. So I'll try out. I don't know galaxy rings. Let's do that one. And interpretation template auto chords. How are we sounding now? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing this. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the music. It's down on my mixer. I'll be right back. Let's try this out now. That's a little bit better. I guess I could put it on my headphones. Okay, so one thing I'm having trouble with here is the bass. It's way too low. Way too low. It's not even playing. So if I go over to uh, instrument ranges here. You can tell that that sound doesn't work. So I'm going to drag the bottom of that up. And you want to have at least an octave here in your range or it won't play very well. Okay, that should fix the problem.
All right. Oops, sorry. Earthquake. Okay, so um, we got a base. We got it some pads. Um, let's add kind of a, I don't know. Let's see. What's next? Um, I'm also going to rename this to sub base. Sub bass. Pyads. High pads. And uh, deep rich. Sub. Okay, so um, maybe some kind of piano thing going. I don't know. We're going to find out, won't we? Okay, so if we're going to use a piano, let's go ahead and just search for piano. Giant piano works. Um, so this is where it gets kind of tricky. I can either, um, I don't want to do that. Let's see. Make this bigger. Um, if you double click on things here, it, it tends to just zoom in and uh, anyway get some more chocolate it's really dark really bitter I love it okay hmm panel yeah I do have a library of uh, some uh, some clips but Maybe instead of cheating tonight, I'll just, uh, it's not really cheating, but we'll just try some things out here and see if we can get something that sounds good. There we go. Let's group those together. Control G. First of all, um, well, it's way too low. It's still pretty low. So let's change that range some. Okay. Um, that's a start. Not really sure what I'm going for here, so bear with me. Why is that one high or lower? That's really strange. I guess it's going outside the range and having to wrap around, so. might be a little tedious. Just a wee bit tedious. Mm-hmm. What if we uh, expand this a little bit here? I want that to go higher. Time you group, you lose the. Hmm. 
Do 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 something like that. It might be sixteenths. I'm just gonna take a stab at it and we'll figure out if it sounds good or not. So that oh no, it might be here maybe. Oh lordy, what is that? Ooh. Alrighty. Oh, don't do that. They're all up. They're all in the upper range when I group them. They should be in the upper range. Okay. This feels wrong. This D is just, it's, it's just not, it's, it's not doing it for me. So if we want it to be on scale, I think we have to pick, I mean, it is the second, so it is going to sound a little off. I don't know if I want it to sound that off. A6. Two, three, four, five. There should be another note here. That's the problem. Uh, zoom in. Let's see. Come on. Oh, I'm picking the wrong tool. I think we'll do that and get back to the roots, Mary. Oh, leave it high. Oh my gosh. Okay. That anchor. We'll see if that helps. Mm -hmm. No. All right. Oh my gosh. Working with figures is a little tough. It's a bit different than working with MIDI notes. Hmm. I think this is showing my weakness as a producer. <laughs> mm. I'll tell you what. Mm. Go on. that empty for now. Maybe all we really need here is like a, it's a really long note here. Mm 
this uh this cord this this is not working for me <laughs> normally you wouldn't lead into this you wouldn't unless you're using phrygian mode second is not a great great one to go to so from three I hate to go back to the same old chords I've been using, but we can try this one. Oh, that didn't work. Urgh. Start again. sounding in it oh I just can't reconcile that one I mean we could go back to the root note we could oh this is kind of boring oh Put it here. Come on, baby. It's just it's so repetitious. It's not bad. It just I don't know. Let's just do that for now. Doesn't make me want to jump out of my chair and say, Woo, that's awesome. But we'll go with that for now. Um, let's go ahead and add an RP kind of thing. So this is fairly straightforward. Um if I have any. Um let's see here. The, uh, <clears throat> Synth bell. What do I usually? I usually use Diva for my arps. We can do. Um, I mean, I love this one. It's a pretty awesome sound. So. Sorry. We'll just do auto chords for now, and it will. Uh, it will play. Diva has the arp inside of it. So. Arp. That would be the wrong range. So um, I think the problem with these presets is it. I don't know how to set the. Um, I don't know how to set the octave it's in. So I'm gonna go uh, down twelve. We'll go up twelve. Let's go another one. There we go. That's my sound. Actually, it's not my sound. It's uh, it's Luftrum's sound. Luftrum's sound. <laughs> I'll dive in here. Don't understand why it's so quiet or it's so low. Ulrich Schnauss. Oh, let's just leave that one on there for now. Well, quiet, to be honest. So this is the wrong octave too. That's the problem if you use the auto. Um, if you use the auto chords, I don't know if there's a way to change the octave. Bell 
Let's follow. Do you see anything? Yeah, I don't know. That's actually still too low. Okay, that's not bad. Um, we're getting somewhere. Now at this point, I kind of like to try different chords, so... Uh, let's just go up five and see what happens. I might stick with that. Okay. G sharp minor. Don't think I've ever done that one before. Ah, probably. Okay, we're going to take the high pads off of this uh, auto mode. So if I go to... Um, I think I just hit delete on that interpretation. And now I'm going to go in here and actually uh, put the chords in because we might want to make those different. So uh, let's do, let's just do one bar chords for now. And it helps if I pick the right tool for the job. And so if we do that, we're forming a basic chord. Okay, now remember I bumped up the octave earlier, so it's probably just, that's the, probably the problem. Alright, so if we grab this and, um, so it does this fun thing where it continues it from before every time you do that. So I have to ungroup, group it again. Thank you very much. And all of these should be up, up the arrows. So it should sound very similar. Um, this add nine will be gone though. So I need to, um, oh, that's really high up. Let's see, let's make sure we haven't. That sounds reasonable. Let's opt for a little bit lower. And uh, t -t 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 interpretation, interpretation. So if I hit snapshot, that lets me change it just for uh, this particular instrument. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw uh, inversions on here and I think completion, uh, render the entire chord as defined. Um, maybe it's alignment, invert consecutive chords such that as many notes as possible can be sustained. Boom, we want that. Smoothing, sure. Hints, regard render hints. Um, we don't want, we don't need those auto thingy bobs, and we want to tie the notes together. If they uh, happen to um, cross, I think that sound that'll probably sound pretty good. Okay, so you'll notice that some of the notes are sticking together, and they're they're not they're not having to re-trigger because they're um, they're the same note as they go through here. But we're gonna actually go and just mess this up a little bit. So I'm gonna 
I'm actually going to throw my own inversion on here and go up by seven. And uh, maybe I'll just take this one. Go here, maybe? Just try some things out, right? It's uh, We'll see how that sounds. Let's hear that. Let's hear that in context. All right. Um, let's take the sub base off of auto magic mode now. Delete snapshot. Okay, so to get back to where we were, we'll press base here and uh, grab this across. And if I just put this one bar. Okay, so that should behave the same um, as it did before. But uh, I think what I'm going to try to do here is, uh, let's see here, grab this and pull this back here. We're gonna split this. What is it doing? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's snapping. <laughs> okay. Let's try this out. See how it sounds. Problem is, I think this note was the same as this, and it sounded really stupid. So you'll notice I move this around and it stays the same pitch. It, um, it's because it's trying to follow this particular chord, the B chord. Try that one, maybe. I don't understand. Uh, why does it sound so blah? Do, do, do. <laughs> Why? I don't understand that. Let's try something. Let's set anchor. Let this guy call the shots. Uh, this particular note is the same as this. I don't understand quite why that is. Um, let's see here. Monophonic. Check. Let's see here. I wonder if there's a, there's a look ahead. None. Let's look ahead a half bar. That might help. These notes should not be the same. That is not, not good. It is not good. Strategy for leading melodies across harmony changes. Yeah, okay, I'll pick one of those. <laughs> uh, strategy default. Um, strategy adaptive. This can make a huge difference, but I don't know what to set it to other than just try things. Oh, 
All right, adaptive gives me the same thing. Why are these the same? <laughs> All right, we'll try another strategy here. Um, click on this. I should be able to do. Um, I think if I press three. I'm just gonna change the bass note here. This might actually work. Oh my gosh, it's a different note. Okay, so uh, let's add something else. Um, we could add like a, a faster bass as well. I might add some flavor to it. Let's see here. Um, Bruce, give me the bass. We should use the donkey bass. You hear the donkey bass? All right. Donkey bass. Oh. Oh, come on. Donkey bass. Yes. Okay, so uh, this is a fun little sound I cooked up recently. Okay. Uh, and uh, it works better if it's smaller. So, um, no, not that big. It's got a bit of bend to it. Just throw some notes on here kind of randomly and then we'll bump them. Kind of helps if they have like a funky rhythm to them. All right, let's just see how it sounds. Wow, that sounds pretty awful. That sounds really bad. Not terrible for pretty random, though. I think the first four notes had a pretty good rhythm to them. Hmm. Forget the rest of those. Put a donk on it, man. All right. Mm. Most of my harp is no longer playing for no apparent reason. Thank you so much. I picked this one, it reset this. Oh, this can be very annoying. Um, it's because I didn't actually set the right, I didn't actually pick this here correctly. I 
I think it was try, trying to uh, fix some problems that chocolate bar. One last piece. All right. Um, let's add some drums. So in my embedded library, I made this before, and um, it's just your straight four to the floor, nothing fancy. It's really loud. So I gotta go in here and change it over here. Make it like a minus six. Thank you for serenading me. So yeah, the drums are gonna sound kind of cheesy. It's hard to get them sounding really awesome without all your other plugins. It's basically just a battery. I just load up like a 909 kit and just kind of let it play. Um, so we can add like a more traditional, um, a more traditional bass here. Um, let's try this uh, bass FM hard. That probably messed up my Oh, to schnauze again. It did. I really need to save it at plus 24. Or I need to... Uh, I'll bet you money. This is back to some setting that isn't quite right either. Sometimes when you load a new instrument, it just deletes the changes you made in the other ones. So it's best to save them off. Um, anyway, so, um, let's turn off this for now. We'll mute it. We'll just do a standard, uh, it's a pretty standard pattern that works really well. If you take, uh, sixteenths and, um, okay. Why does it sound like that? I picked a different one. I picked bass FM hard. And it's staying here. Okay. Why? I probably have um, too many divas going. So I have one, two, three, and then a fourth one here. But I've got the global sound set. I can't use another diva right now. So, why don't we change this to a... I will set up another diva another time. I'll just change it to something else. Okay. That should open a diva up for me to use bass FM hard. And I bet once again... Oh, yeah. Thank you. I know what's happening is it's sending a program change event, and it's reverting back to the saved version of the patch and it's really screwing with me um yes anyway okay i can already tell that range is wrong so let's see here Much better. All right. So 
This is a pretty good pattern here. This um, three down and then one an octave higher. And then two down, one an octave higher, and then one down. And I'm actually, oh, double click zooms. Why? Why would you have double click zoom? I'm just going to remove the first note for the kick drum. Kind of cool. I wonder what this is going to do. <laughs> yeah, that's not a surprise. I'd like to shorten all the notes, but if I uh, if I click and drag from here, it will. Uh... How's that helpful? I would love to know. Undo. It's fine. We'll just deal with it. All right. So that's uh, that's that pattern works okay in um, trance or free form. I use it a lot. Um, it's it's kind of boring for what we're doing here. So why don't we just add some variety? And uh, just bump some notes around. Try this out here. Is this uh, the sound is hosted by Diva? Can't remember if it's one of the factory patches or. Okay, hold on. It really sounds bad to me. Let's see. some of the higher notes in there. I, don't know, I feel like maybe these should be on the root. Another thing too, if you select a note, it stops playback. group these it might sometimes these are the same let me, let me spread them apart a little bit probably because they're too close This really doesn't sound good. I feel like I've wasted uh, both of our time. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Um, I would not listen to this song. No, it's not very good. It's just too loud or something. Let's just tame it down a little bit. Maybe it's, maybe it's just too wild and crazy. We'll have this one be an octave higher. concert grand and uh, I've actually got some there was a pack I uh, bought called piano themes might add some interest to the track because right now it's not interesting bonk I already used this one. Yeah. Hold on a second. 
<laughs> Don't tell me what I already used it. Let's see. Let's not use it again. So, I'd be great if I could split. Um, use for live chords. New instrument with same sound. Do that. Yes. Or if I could select all the bass notes easily. If I do this, shift. No. Control. Oh, yes. Nope. Oh, don't miss a click, or you gotta start over. Oh, no, no, no. You know what, I see a problem brewing. This isn't long enough. Let's just make it long enough. <sighs> Trust me, even with the frustrations, it's worth it for, for what this does. Do, 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 do. Let's grab all these bass notes. Do, 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 do. Control X. Grab this thing here. Control Paste. Ooh, it's a miracle. Oh, goody, it did the double uppy. The double up bug. Oh, you know what? Let's just, let's save this thing. What do we call this? Uh, what is today? March 21st, 2016. So that sounds like... Okay, we're going to grab these notes here. Um, hold on a second, let me... Reduce that down. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's grab these notes. And raise them. Oh, much better. Let's turn that bass is really loud. Let's turn off the drums and the bass. actually pretty darn good um let's take i'm gonna go ahead and raise those up to the same octave and once again shrink this thing down and we get the double up bug again thank you okay we're fine loving loving the bugs here we go Andre, if you're watching, I still love your software. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a firm believer. These are really quiet. I wonder if, um, if I take a bass, can I go up? That might work. Let's see. That's not working. It's the same notes um, if I do that. So I'm going to go back to regular mode. <sighs> oh, 
Old Schnauz. Old Schnauz. You know what? I can fix this problem a different way. Sounds like a Nintendo game. Here on, I don't have to keep changing the instrument. Same with this guy. He's yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. Check on something real fast. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. No messages on Facebook. Okay, I'm not hearing. Oh, duh. Hmm. Oh, just checking on my social life. Sorry. All right. So uh, that's sounding actually a lot better. Um, I, was, I was really getting worried for a while. I was going to start crying. Okay. That, that bass doesn't work. Let's see. That does not work. Let's try my, uh, I like my stabby bass. That's a lot better. Loud. Um, I really, 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 really wish that there were volume controls right here. That would be really, 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 gosh, you don't know how happy I would be. That's how every other DAW does it. Right there. Otherwise, I gotta open that silly thing up. I'm gonna save it now. Yeah, I don't want those settings the next time. So we add the drums back in. This is starting to sound like something I would listen to. This is good. If we add this piano back in. I'll tell you what, we'll use um, Zebra. I don't even know what this is. Legend? Is this a... Um, is this, a this is an ARP. I don't know, I gotta see what I got here. Maybe like a trans kappa? Trans kappa. Trans. Let's try this one. Ah, ooh, that sounds pretty sweet. Still sounds really hard.
Um, you know, the Oja Schnauss is interesting, but I really like the Absolutely Be Me sound. Oh, it's taxing the CPU. Sorry, CPU. We'll try it with that, but... That's too quiet. I'm gonna go in here and turn it up. If I can find it. Mm -hmm. Why is this so much quieter? Gotta save it now. Ooh, I just changed the volume. I can hear it now. Yeah, we're on, we're on to something here. All right, I didn't forget about you, Donkey Bass. Just that you're not Donkey Bass anymore. I don't know what you are. It's not terrible. It's not, it's not terrible. That's a mean thing to say. Um, let's change that range, because it's right now it's... Bassy, but I don't need bass. I need change it to horizontal. There we go. Almost sounded better when it was uh, thinking it was bass. Um, it tends to be a little bit more rigid following the scale. Cool sound. I would know. I programmed it. Let's tend towards the bottom of that. I hardly hear this anymore. So we could actually use these concert grands in like a breakdown, making a really sweet sound in back a breakdown um, out of those. Um, we'll see here. We can also add some fun, creepy vocals. I love creepy vocals. So let's go to um, contact. Let's get, uh, why don't we use like a, uh, Latin phrases. And in this case, we want, um, I don't know if I can even change. Come on, baby. This is kind of weird. I have to go to script editor. <laughs> the background that's normally there is not, but uh, that's okay. So we're going to pick a scale. We're in G sharp minor. Oh, dear. That is not a choice. Not a choice. Oh, what are we going to do? Well, G sharp is... Is that A? It's not A, no. You know, B sharp is C. You know, B sharp really isn't a note. Okay. Um, so there is no, uh, there's no note that really follows what I'm trying to do. So I might... Pick a different one. Uh, see if uh, maybe the alto Latin fate phrases has the right key. Oh, oh, okay. Whatever. I pressed it. I pressed it. I pressed it again. Oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. F, me. F, and G. Ginkgo phrases. Show me. All right, you're lying to me. You are lying. It still says, why does it say that? Uh, yeah, let's see. Um, okay. 
I'm not sure why it didn't change. All right. Can't go. Can't go. Phrases. Double click. Script editor. Oh, dear Lord. Um, We are on the wrong tab. I want to see the front. Okay. Ah, A sharp. There is hope. Oh, yeah, baby. G sharp. Uh, otherwise, uh, it would. She would sing in notes that weren't in the scale. It would kind of clash. Okay, so uh, thanks, Francisca. Correct, can't go. Okay, so uh, at this point, what we want to do is use uh, absolute pitch because each note denotes a different uh, phrase, and we want to pick a phrase and have it stick, not change with the the. Uh, the um, chord progression, and I'm just gonna ride that on out there. You all right there, Francesca? Here she actually uh, makes up her own words as she sings. Um, so it's, it's not really a language, but it kind of sounds like it is, but it's, it's not really a language. It's her language. It's kind of cool. I like it. So here we go. Let's we'll try some different ones out. No, she is actually singing on key, so we're she's singing on the key we've chosen. So that it, that selection is working, which is great. So I've got an idea. Uh, if we bring this back, I kind of liked this one here. We can flip between the two. Same organ. Okay, um, no, I don't want those together. This one's actually okay, I think. No, we don't want them to be together. Is that it? dig um you know in the final arrangement we can drown that in uh, some delay and reverb make it sound real nice and spacey um it's kind of hard to do in uh just contact um it, it, it's not terrible but uh, I, I can do that in ableton a lot easier so Far along, are we? Oh, over an hour of footage. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stop there. If you've watched this whole thing, um, then uh, maybe you've got a good sense of here of what Sinfire can do. Um, this is great because let's just say um, I'm gonna turn Francesca off, but uh, let's just say I'm like, well, maybe I'll do a key shift halfway through the the song. I just go in here and. Uh, change it for notes 
track is now in C minor. So it's really powerful. You can uh, you can switch keys like that and try out different keys and see what sounds good to you. And uh, anyway, I've definitely used it for um, this kind of uh, progressive housey like stab chord things. Makes it really easy to. Uh, I mean, it's like hundreds of notes, but it it it's in here it's only like 12 <laughs> and uh, you can really create some cool chord progressions that way um, I can show you an example of that real quick before I head out um, let's see I think it was uh, this one yeah so you can create a really rich chord progression that's right, this kind of goes along with it. So, uh, you will hear that on an upcoming tune, forthcoming on my... Actually, not my third album. It's due out for release in June, I think. Hopefully. I think of luck. Anywho, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching Blue Phoenix Raw Uncut Edition. Um... I don't know if I'll do this again or not. Depends on the feedback. I feel most people wouldn't watch this whole thing, but if you've been bored and you followed along, thanks a lot. And uh, I'll catch you the next time. Stop.